Uh, we've been driving all night. But uh, it's wonderful, you know, like when you're tired, some things uh, kind of miraculous can happen. And so uh, we're sitting in the car and uh, rolling down the interstate and uh, James Taylor is on and the song, you have to pardon me because I don't have my glasses, and the song is uh, Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight. And of course, yes, it's a wonderful song, but um, I, uh, I found something in this and, and I hope that, that you will uh, bear with me. But the, 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 the lyrics are, uh, do me wrong, do me right. Tell me lies, but hold me tight. Save your goodbyes for the morning light, but don't let me be lonely tonight. Say goodbye and say hello. Show enough good to see you, but it's time to go. Don't say yes, but please don't say no. I don't want to be lonely tonight. Go away. I don't use these four-letter words. Go away then, darn you. <laughs> go on and do as you please. You ain't going to see me getting down on my knees. Undecided and your heart's been divided. You've been turning my world upside down. Now just imagine the relationship of the African American community with the Democratic Party and this song. Just imagine. And so basically, and this is all just as unthought but, but very deeply felt, is that we have a community that's engaged in a relationship where they know. They know, but, but they don't want to be lonely. They don't want to be left out on a limb all by themselves. And so it's easier to find comfort in something that even abuses you than to step out on your own and bear the consequences of being alone. And so yeah. Yeah. what I have done, what I have done is I've said no longer am I going to be involved in a dysfunctional one-sided relationship. How can I declare that the relationship is dysfunctional? One has to only look at the statistics defining black life in this country, I won't run them down, but they are on, my, uh, on the website, Run Cynthia Run. You've seen them in all of the speeches that I've given, and you're living it right here, and you're living it right here in uh, New York City. And so you know what those statistics are. And yet, despite those statistics, there's an element in the community that wants to continue to do the same thing over and over again in hopes that the outcome will be different. Now, I have a friend who's the, 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 the leader of CMOTAP, he's a psychiatrist. And I wanted to ask him, tell me what the psychological uh, basis is for expecting something different when you're doing the same thing. So, at any rate, the, the question was about the black left. I think the deeper question is the relationship of, of the black community with a party that has done nothing, even in, down to including protecting the right to vote yes. and to have their votes counted of people who voted in 2000, again in 2004. So uh, there's a lot that needs to be fleshed out of these original little thoughts about don't let me be lonely tonight. Thank you.